I think it's safe to say that the Nexus name is pretty legendary. This was the first scope that we ever built and it was a scope that provided the framework for literally everything that we've made since then. The word Nexus means a central or focal point and that is really what this model has been to Element Optics with every other scope that we've ever made being some form of derivative of the Nexus. This model has been around for a number of years now and while it's by no means a dinosaur, we've learned so much along the way and want to keep improving our products. And that's where the Gen 2 comes into play. The Nexus Gen 2 at its core is built for the same purpose as the Nexus Gen 1. It's a long range precision optic that is still light and short enough to be used on a hunting rifle. The whole idea of the Nexus from day one is that if you had to buy only one scope to use for the rest of your life, the Nexus should be that scope. The Gen 2 has the same 30 millimeter body tube as the Gen 1, the same 50 millimeter objective, the same length, the same eyepiece, almost everything is the same. The main differences are found in the turret and parallax assembly and in the erector system. This is an erector tube from a Nexus and you'll see that there are a number of lenses here that move when you turn your magnification ring in and out. That's what gives you your uh, your zoom. Now, the magnification on the Nexus Gen 2 is now a 4 to 25 uh, zoom system. That's quite a big step up from the 5 to 20 on the Nexus Gen 1. And that's going to make quite a big difference, particularly when you're hunting at four times to be able to get that extra field of view. And when you're shooting, let's say, small targets off a bench at 25 times when you just need that little bit of extra magnification. And then we get to the turrets. Now, the turrets are what really pushed us towards uh, developing a Gen 2 Nexus. We'd made substantial investments towards uh, developing a new turret system from the ground up for the Theos, which would then become our flagship model. And we realized we could use a lot of that same technology and put it on a Nexus, just scale it down slightly, but bring that same sort of next level uh, mechanical inner workings and design features and really take the scope to another level. The Nexus Gen 2 turrets are slightly smaller than the Theos turrets with 10 mils or 25 MOA per turn, but exactly the same in the way that they function. The clicks are firmed up significantly from the Gen 1 and the windage turret is now capped, although it can be run uncapped with the aid of a thread protector ring, which we include in the box. The Gen 1 Nexus was the first scope that we designed tool-free turrets for and this kind of set the stage for the Helix and Titan and most of the other scopes that we've done. But the zero stop was not tool-free on the Gen 1. You needed to uh, set the zero stop with three little hex screws um, every time that you zeroed the turrets. The Gen 2 has the same tool-free turret system but we've now also included a tool-free zero stop. The zero stop automatically sets itself half a mil below zero every time you reset the turrets, which is awesome. The feedback we've got from customers who've bought the Theos have told us that this is one of their favorite features. So we have little to no doubt that that's gonna be um, something that's really appreciated by Nexus Gen 2 customers also. As with the Theos turrets, there's also a revolution indicator flag which flips over when you move into the second revolution on the turrets. And there are two rows of numbers laser engraved onto the turrets. So no mental math is involved when dialing to your second turn. When you're under pressure at a PRS match, you will appreciate this. The beefier turrets do add a bit of extra weight, but we feel that this is a worthwhile trade-off, particularly if you are someone that uses your turrets a lot, dials them a lot, you're gonna appreciate the extra bit of uh, grip on these, the firmer turrets, and all the other features that are worked into the system. The parallax knob is also beefed up a bit with a bigger diameter, but crucially, a lower profile. So it might actually fit into your, your bag or your case a little bit better. It goes from 10 meters or yards to infinity, but because of the larger diameter, it's a little bit easier to get finer adjustments when, when turning the parallax dial and there's no illumination knob to get in the way of your hand when you're turning. The illumination is in the form of a digital system or push button system, exact same as the Theos. So you hold in the element logo plate for a second, 
to switch it on and then you can push it with short presses to cycle through the 10 different brightness settings. We've managed to design into the scope 29 mils or 100 MOA of elevation travel, which is actually a bit more than the Nexus Gen 1 and puts this on par with the Theos. Just keep in mind though that if you're one of those people that wants to get every little bit of elevation travel out of your scope by using adjustable mounts and basically putting this to the very bottom of the adjustment range to get the full range, this turret system means that after two full turns, you'll have to lift the turret and flip the flag back to one in order to get that extra turn in. This won't be an issue for 99% of shooters out there who use a normal zero to 30 MOA base and never need to dial up more than 20 mils, but it's just something to keep in mind. This is of course a first focal plan scope and we'll be offering four of our most up-to-date reticle designs the APR-1C in MRAD and MOA, and the APR-2D in MRAD and MOA. Unlike the Theos, which is purely built for competition shooting and only offers Christmas tree reticles, we've made sure that there are clean reticle options for those who want to hunt or shoot paper. And we've thought through the line thicknesses very carefully on these reticles to ensure that they are usable all the way from four times up to 25 times. As with all of our scopes, we include a removable throw lever, something that you might want if you, let's say, running a PRS match and need to really crank that magnification quickly. And new to the Gen 2, a 35 millimeter aperture ring. This can be threaded onto the objective lens to reduce the objective diameter. You may wonder why you'd ever want to do this. Well, it can have a few benefits and we've covered all of the pros and cons of running an aperture ring in a separate video. So check the video description for a link if you want to see that. And that is just about all you need to know about the Nexus Gen 2. The Nexus has already proven itself over the years to be a solid optic and we've basically just taken all the best things from the Gen 1 and improved on them, taking it to another level. If you want to learn more about the scope, you can visit our website at element-optics.com. You can check out information about our Platinum Lifetime Warranty, which of course applies to this scope. And you can visit us on social media, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook and we're on YouTube. Thanks for watching as always, we'll see you next time.